your lunch, okay? I put $10 in there so you can buy a nice clean souvenir. You can ask one of the big kids where to do that. You remember your interview time, right? I wrote it down for you just in case. Okay, you ready? I think so. Oh, it's Claire's big day. <laughs> I guess it's natural for parents to cry on their kid's med school interview day. I mean, we've been waiting for this moment for years. Or maybe it isn't. So, who is it up for your med friend? Did you leave me the telephone number? Yeah, I'm staying with Iman. He's going to show me around Queens and Kingston. But, I'm really nervous. I've never been to a real medical school before. Oh, don't worry, you're going to be great. Just be yourself. Alright Claire, so I'm going to be your guide to the Queen's Med interview day. Now where you stand in the waiting area is crucial because you got everybody here. You've got the varsity applicants. I'm sure all the dudes go to the gym. Two arms. They're not interviewing, but they'll be in your class. The MD-PhDs. Just submitted my paper to Nature. I'm still pretty jet lagged from my conference. You guys think that patients will call us doctor or doctor doctor? They already interviewed! The philanthropists, some of them only volunteered for a one day thing, but they still put on their ABS. The nonchalance, they pretend they don't care, but they really do. And them? Oh, those are the plastics. The plastic surgery gunners, aka the most ambitious pre -meds. Beware of the plastics. They're gonna try and psych you out. And I think some of them are interviewing with you. Hi, I'm Claire. Speaking to the plastics was like leaving the actual world and entering pre-med world. And pre-med world had a lot of rules. How many clubs are you president? I only talk to the Republican Council. Oh my gosh, I didn't read doing right. I'm only vice president of one club and not student council. I have no publications. What am I even doing here? It's 1054. Is there a Claire McGraw here? That's me. <laughs> Good luck. This is it. You got this. Claire, can you handle this? Jen, can you handle this? Hamza, can you handle this? I don't think they can handle this. 8 a.m. I've arrived. Looking classy, looking fly. Smartest chick, chick inside. Q Med is mine tonight. Spotted me, a nervous friend. There you are. Come on over. Biggest deal you've ever seen Can you handle, handle me? You gotta do much better If you wanna be here in QMED You gotta work your jelly If you wanna get that May invite Read my lips carefully If you like what you see Move, prove, prove you can get through this This is something that you definitely don't wanna miss Get in a straight line, it's time for questions Do you think you're ready for this station? Do you think you're ready for this station? Do you think you're ready for this? Is this time for you to Please enter the room Alright I see you have a 3.98 GPA. Yeah, I worked really hard. Wow, you are so smart. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> so you agree. What? That you think you're really smart. Oh, well, yeah. So, Rohini, tell us about yourself. All right, are you ready for this? Yo, yo, yo! Suck of pre-meds ain't got nothing on me. From my grades to my reps, you can't touch Rohini P. I'm a gunner and exec of nine clubs. Watch me don on my scrubs. I've interned abroad. Ad comms beyond. I'm Rohini P. I bet all the med schools really want me. Cell, nature, science, pubs. I each got three. Also volunteer with kids. Just check my CV. There's no one better than me. They all go, whoa, Rohini P. All right. Well, thanks, Rohini P. Thanks very much for your time. Hello. <clears throat> Welcome to the panel. This is the last station that decides your fate. Just kidding. <laughs> Yo, docs. I mean, uh, d hello, Dr. Kasanoff, Dr. Fatma, um, thanks for taking the time to interview me today. You don't need to suck up. Just kidding. Yo, docs, can I ask you a question? Panel, do you love me? What you typing? 
Say you'll never ever pick them besides me Cause I want you And I need you And I just really really want you now Ugh, he must be one of those kids from Toronto I started to question what I was doing I was apologizing for not being a so-called plastic surgery gunner Why did it matter whether I was president or first author? They're clearly less interested in my grades or credentials and just wanting to see if I'm a good med school candidate. They're looking at what makes me uniquely me. I need to turn this interview around. So one last question for you, Claire. What has been the most valuable lesson that you've learned thus far in your path towards medicine? I think I learned quite a bit, but I ultimately learned that I can do anything I set my mind to. I'm a capable individual with a lot to offer, and my experience is what brought me here. I just need to believe that my limit does not exist. Oh my gosh, how'd your interview go? My interview was so good. Totally rocked it. My interviewers were so into it. How about you guys? Mine was so terrible. The interview scared me so much. I don't know how mine went. Parts of it were good and parts of it were bad. But it seems like we all had really different experiences, so we probably shouldn't stress. I gotta go. I gotta go find my friend. Um, I'll catch you guys later. Yeah. Yeah. Best of luck, and I hope I see you here in the fall. Yeah. Bye. Bye. So you rock today. <laughs> Yo, Claire, you ready? Making my way downtown, walking fast, faces past, checking out Kingston. Staring blankly ahead, I'm just making my way. I'm making my way through. Kingston downtown, Kingston market, and now I wonder if I got into Queens MD. If only at comes would choose me, cause you know I'd make a great MD if I could just get in. Wow, Kingston's so beautiful. There's actually so much to do here. Yeah, and everything's within walking distance. I hope I give you a good glimpse of Kingston. But there's still so much more to see and do. I know why QMED is the place to be. I can't believe there's even more to see. I feel like we've been walking around Kingston and seeing cool things for days. In a good way. Have you always had a beard? Uh, yeah. Well, I really like QMED so far. I've heard so many great things. I heard that Queens has a 99% match rate, the highest in Canada. I heard they have an anatomy lab with real cadavers. They have three microwaves and only one of them is broken. I heard their associate dean is so cool, he's a cardiologist. There's so many interest groups you can join. There's a family medicine oh. interest group, there's a neurology interest group, there's a surgery interest group, there's reads for well, kids. Yeah, go. Okay, okay, that, okay, that's enough. Thanks, thanks. Our med building is pretty new, and it's just for med students. Did you know Kingston has the most restaurants per capita in Ontario? I heard they have one of the best clinical skills programs. So on Thursdays, we wear our white coats. My stethoscope brings all the clicks to the ward and they're like It's better than yours, damn right It's better than yours, you can have one But I have to charge my stethoscope brings all the clicks to the wards and they're like It's better than yours, damn right It's better than yours, you can have one But you have to I charge I you want it The thing that makes me A real MD to be they lose their minds The way I find Your auxiliary line Scrub, 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 scrub Sanitize Knock, 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 knock The patient's waiting My SP says that I do a good job And they're like Wow, you did a good job! Damn right, history's but part Cause they teach me Now I'm ready for I a car I you wanna Learn how to auscultate for cuss and pal pay A real patient There's no judgment It's all pass fail La la la
la la la Teach us more la 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 There's no one better la 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 Oh my god, Queens is so great. I really hope I get in here. Well, no matter what happens, I'm proud of you for staying true to yourself. See you in September. Thank you. Next, I have an interview at Mac tomorrow. Do you remember the very first night of September when we started at Queens, no pretenders, free pizza and talks all day? Study the nights away. Play two murals or hit the ark and work out with friends. Cause we don't just study, remember the excitement of our first day. What day is it? It's May 14th.